Welcome back inside Trailblazer Weekly on this Wednesday afternoon. It is time for our Tracking Trailblazers segment. You know it. You love it. We love it. It's one of my favorite segments of the show where we bring back a former player or coach who is still competing and excelling at the next level. And, of course, our guest today we welcome to the show is former Dixie State men's basketball player Mark Ogden. Uh, I should say former star here at Dixie State and doing very well for himself. Had a great international career over the last few years and is in the NBA G League this year playing with the College Park Skyhawks, the the G League affiliate of the Atlanta Hawks. We are excited to have him on the show today. Mark, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, thanks for having me, Carrick. It's good to be in touch again and have a nice chat with you. I enjoy these. <laughs> Absolutely. I was just we were just talking before we started this interview how, you know, we had you on on what was then the Storm Stack up a few years ago and was it was a great interview and was recalling our our game of horse that we played in the Burns Arena after and uh I think you won that game if I recall, but uh, we'll we'll give you that one, but uh again, thanks so much. It's we're excited to have you on the show today and and really just wanted to to dive into this thing and and discuss your your journey, your professional basketball journey. We knew when you were here at Dixie State, that you were certainly capable of playing at the next level. We knew that that was a goal, and and you've done very well for yourself. For, for those of you that that haven't, you know, followed each stop that you've made, why don't you take us just through your journey? You know, where have you been, and what are some of the things you've learned a- along the way since playing at Dixie State? No, yeah, of course. Um, it's been a it's been quite the journey, and looking back at it now, it's been about a three to four year journey to lead up to where I'm at now and like I, it's crazy how time has been flying at the same time how the time of events led up to now because after I left Dixie State I had a plan to make it to the G League whether it was in two years or in three years um, and so far like I said I've been successful in getting to where I'm at now and I can't be more than happy to be here especially being in the States like my first year uh, after I finished at Dixie State, I was in the country of Luxembourg, small country in Western Europe, bordered by Germany, Belgium, and France. I was there from 2016 through 2017, finished the full season um, in the National 2 level, which is the second division of the country. But um, halfway through the season, we got promoted from the second division to the first division of the country. And the last two seasons from 2017 throughout through 2019, yeah, 19, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I was in the country of Georgia. So it's coincidental how I'm in the state of Georgia now. In the last two years, <laughs> or last two seasons, I played in the country of Georgia. My first season there, I, um, I made it all the way halfway through the season. So from September to um, January 1st, uh, I was made through halfway through the season. It's going great. I was averaging good numbers, a double-double. Still successfully averaging a double-double. I broke my foot on um, December 30th, uh, 2017. So that was a bit of adversity I had to go through um, because I was out for at least three to four months um, off my feet. And I took the choice of staying there instead of going home after the season. Um, The hardest part of that season was um just adversity um being in a different country um going through physical therapy in a rehab rehabilitation center which is actually top of the line and the best um uh, physical therapist i had in the country so like i said the club took real care of me with that helped me out off the court as well but um being in that rehab center was very different than being uh, in the rehab center at, in the united states because of language barrier so so pretty much the only American in there and the only guy who was speaking full English next to my physical therapist coach. So, um, like I said, it was a bit tough doing that for the next uh, six to eight weeks. But um, I got through it. Um, fast forward, end of the season, 16 points a game, 10 rebounds a game, um, forward of the year accolades, all-star MVP, all-star dunk contest, first all-team Georgian honors. So, I've been working my butt off the, from that previous season to this season, so I just can't be more than happy now to be where I'm at, to be honest. I've learned so much these past three seasons, and one of the things I could really benefit from Dixie State going there for two years is being a Californian kid, going to um, a university that offered me a, a full scholarship and a free education 
and as well a different type of cultural living. It really is. It's a beautiful experience. It really is. Oh, Beauty in the struggle. Yeah, that's that's amazing. That's uh, that's quite the journey there. And it sounds like you're on a roll too to, to hear all about that and your journey. Uh, from Dixie State uh, into the G League. Of course, this is Mark Ogden joining us in our Tracking Trailblazers segment. I, I wanted to ask you just about your time at Dixie State and uh, what you, you know, you mentioned some of it, but uh, what you learned here at Dixie State. You got to play under a great college coach and, and Coach Judkins and uh, adapt mm-hmm. to a different culture here in, here in St. George and different teammates. What were some of your biggest lessons and biggest takeaways that you learned from your two years here at Dixie State? My two years here at Dixie State was um say the biggest weapon I learned is just to be um to be me, to be you. And at the same time I just benefited from each one of my teammates, believe it or not. Leading all the way to that playing alongside Zach Robbins, know how to play high and low basketball with him, how to crash the glass and just being very just um, utilize your post moves and just off the court, just being a great student. I can just say I just learned how to play with the, play with each one of my teammates and just just be a good just be a good player, good good person. Honestly, and you and you certainly proved it here. Your time, at Dixie State, chatting with here Mark Ogden Jr., formerly of the Dixie Trailblazers, a star here on campus and now currently a member of the uh, College Park Skyhawks of the Atlanta Hawks organization. 13 points and 10 rebounds a game here at Dixie State. Average a double-double in your time here. Uh, you're, you're playing well there for, for the Skyhawks, averaging about five points a game and three and four assists per game. Uh, you had a great game a couple months ago against uh, Fort Lewis or F- Fort Wayne, excuse me, 19 points on 8 of 11 shooting, five rebounds. Um, you know, we've been uh, ha- having a good time kind of following your career from afar. Uh, just talk a little bit about, you know, what you've what you've learned playing in the G League. Obviously, you've had a, a ton of experience overseas. What's maybe one surprise of playing in the G League that, that maybe you didn't expect? Maybe something more, not necessarily towards the game itself, but maybe something, you know, behind the scenes. You know, obviously, pro basketball is a lot different than college basketball in the sense that it, it's a business. What's one thing that's maybe surprised you about the business that is playing in the G League? Just how you said it, it's a business, how it works. Everyone's working to try to get a two-way contract or just to get an NBA call-up because that's just a life-changing thing and it's just something everyone's working for. But not to be wrong, but the main thing I think that's really changed my mindset about the, about the G League route and just the G League experience, you got to be a coachable and you got to be coachable discipline and your IQ level really has to be up because the fact like I said I know in college everybody was the guy whoever they were like you know I'm scoring all the time playing defense doing all this and that the higher you go at the next level like you're going to be have to use have to get used to being a role player everyone has a role on this team like we have two guys who are two shooters on the team we have one one or two guys who's required to like score and play defense you have another guy who just has to uh, facilitate the ball and make sure, like, those guys get those shots up and make sure everyone, like, the guys on the floor, like, score. And, like I said, my job, I, like, I embraced it. And at the same time, I'm getting used to it. And just how, like Kawhi said, the board man gets paid. <laughs> Literally, all, like I said, I um, I know what I can do offensively. Like, you mentioned, like, my game against Fort Wayne. Um like, I scored 19 points. I, of course, I would love to consistently do that, but like I said, here and there, your time will come. You just can't force shots. You got to make sure you're taking the right shots. And you got to be versatile with your game. Like, you have to develop a consistent three point shot, um, great IQ, and just big confidence. But you really have to be comfortable and understand your role on the, on the team. So they keep saying it's a, it's a grind, but it's the beauty and the struggle. It's getting it's working. Absolutely, that's uh, that's fantastic. Good stuff, and, and and what you're learning in the G League, and 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 what life is like in the in the G League. Mark, uh, one other thing about playing in the G League in the United States, and you're traveling around the country playing. I'm sure you've had opportunity to play in front of friends and family more so than when you were uh, overseas. Has, has that been the case? And if so, how nice has that been to be able to know that you've got some supporters up in the stands watching you? Oh, man, it's beautiful. Like I said, um, like it's been three, four years since I had support like that. No one. I haven't had, um, 
you know, I didn't know. I haven't had support at all, um, physical support and overseas for someone being in the crowd supporting me as far as family goes. So my first game this season against the Erie Bayhawks, we played at Erie and my grandfather, my dad's dad, um, he's from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So Erie's only about two hours away. And unfortunately my grandmother passed, um, early of, of April, 2019. But, um, like I said, uh, he was there. I was so glad he was there, able to come support me. Cause my grandmother, when I was overseas, I told her I wanted this so bad. She just told me, "Keep working. Like I know you'll be there." And she was like, "I'll be there either in spirit or I'll be there in person." And I know she was there in spirit, um, supporting me in that first game. And my grandfather was, I was so happy to see him make it because he's never been to one of my basketball games. So being as a professional athlete and in the states, he's able to watch me play along with my few cousins and my father but it was really nice to have that support and like I said I've been having all my family and close friends and even a couple like people from hometown that and even of course the people of Dixie State and just like I said nationwide I have a lot of support and everyone has embr- has read my story and know about it and I get a lot of people saying like really impressive what I've done. I'm glad I could be an influence and inspiration to other people, but family means everything, man. It really does. Yeah, no doubt about it. Uh, chatting with Mark Ogden Jr., former star of the Dixie State Trailblazers and a current member of the College Park Skyhawks of the Atlanta Hawks organization in the NBA G League. Uh, Mark, just uh, about one one minute left, maybe only 30 seconds left. Just wanted to get one quick uh, one quick answer from you. Obviously, uh, you probably heard the news, the Trailblazers are uh, transitioning into Division One coming uh, this next summer. Uh, just wanted to get you maybe a quick, quick reaction, 30 seconds, reaction to the Trailblazers moving to Division One. About time. <laughs> about, <laughs> about time. But I'm very jealous of the fact that moving to Division One um, when I'm not attending, of course, but I have been supporting them from afar. I'm always a proud alumni, and I'm keeping up with them. And they've been doing pretty pretty great this season. Of course, it's going to be a battle next, next decade because we had to establish um, and put a name out for ourselves. But I'm really proud to see that we moved up to – from junior college era to division two era now division one so it's really nice to hear that yeah it's it's pretty incredible mark and we know that you and as well as many of your teammates and and former players throughout this program are those who have laid the foundation to to get to division one and we certainly uh appreciate that and and now uh renewed rivalries with uh grand canyon and with california baptist right back in the same conference in the in, in the WAC. So, Mark, we, we've run out of time here on the segment, but we appreciate so much uh, you, you taking our phone call, and and uh, we've just enjoyed catching up with you, learning about your journey and your time in the G League. And like Drayson noted during the interview, you know we're we're following closely your career, and we wish you the best of luck and, and all the success in the world, and and uh, we'll continue to follow you closely. Man, thank you for having me. I really do appreciate that, Carrick. It was good catching up, and like I said, I. You won. I owe you another round of fourth. So <laughs> that's right. Next time, Sorry. next time you're here in St. George, we got a rematch scheduled inside the Burns. So I, I won't forget it. <laughs> I'll be more happy to be in the Burns, get on the floor again. <laughs> but right. Thank you again for having. Me. Thanks, Mark. We appreciate it. No problem. That is Mark Ogden, uh, former star of the Dixie State Trailblazers, and man, what a what a journey! What a fantastic interview that was, and he he's been, uh, you know, ups and downs, all of it, and now he's in the G League, and you know, just one step away from that ultimate goal in the NBA. And I think there's anybody that can accomplish it. It's it's Mark Ogden. He's overcome adversity. He's been through lots of different things, and and he's proven a lot of people wrong, and and he's right there, and 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 ready to take that next step. Yeah, no doubt about it. And I love what he said. He said you always have to be working. I love that mindset of. A- player that's in the G League that's not content with where they're at. They always want to improve and always want to get better. It's a good formula to try to get to the league. 100 percent absolutely we got to take our final break when we come back uh, we look ahead at our scouting report dixie state basketball team is taking on colorado christian and regis inside the burns arena this weekend we'll break down what to expect and give you some keys for victory for both teams in those games that's coming up right after this on trailblazer weekly <laughs> 